we're going to get started on a basic granny square. Now, this will work with pretty much any hook size, any yarn size. You just kind of have to match your hook to your yarn. Today, I'm using a worsted weight yarn from Big Twist. Um, it's one of Joanne brand fabrics. And my trusty size H hook, which I use for most of my crocheting projects because I'm boring and I use the same yarn over and over again. <laughs> Anyway, I have a magic circle all set up here and um, we're going to get started. So to begin a granny square, you need to crochet three chain stitches. And I'll do it here. One, two, three. Now this chain stitch is going to count as our first double crochet, but it just needs to get us up and away from this magic circle ring. So that's how we start all of the rounds for any of our granny squares. We're going to chain three to make it, the chain three will be in place of a double crochet to get us started. And then we're going to go ahead and yarn over and double crochet two more into our ring. There's one and two. So now we've got a cluster of three. Most granny crochets, granny stitches, are, are clusters of three double crochets. So that's what you're going to be making all the way around, every single round, over and over and over again, to make these delightful squares. <laughs> so here's our cluster of three double crochets. We are going to chain two to create a chain space. We're going to go back into our magic circle right here, our open ring, and we're going to crochet three more double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Here we are, one set, two set, and then we are going to add another set of two chains because we're making our corners. One, two. So now we've got three clusters of three double crochets. And we're going to make our fourth one to make our square. Now you can make tons of different shapes. Um, Hexicardies work this way. You just make six spaces instead of four clusters. Uh, you can do circles. I mean, there's just so many things you can do. We're just doing a basic square right now. So here is our fourth set of three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to join to the third chain that we created when we initially started our chain stitches so we can close it off. So now we've got, it's not a super squarish looking square in the beginning, but we've got a square with four double crochet sets of three, and then we've got four chain spaces in all of these corners. So we just continue on. Round two, we're going to pull up three chains to start, and this will be our first double crochet. And we're gonna go back into the hole, into the chain space from round one that we just finished off. So you're kind of going backwards almost a little bit, but not really backwards. You're just dipping back into the space that you were in. Make another double crochet, and then we're gonna make a third one because we're doing everything in sets of three. Now, if we're going straight across, we're only gonna be chaining one. We're only gonna be creating a chain space of one. If we're turning corners, we Create chain spaces of two. So since we're going straight over to this chain space right here, we're just going to chain one. And we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into the corner now and create our first set of corner double crochets. So we're going to cro double crochet three times. And because we're turning a corner, we're going to chain two. Kind of turn your square. So now we're going this way. We're going to double crochet three times into the same 
corner space that we just worked the last three sets in. One, two, three. See that? So we have two sets in this corner space. And that's why we chain two in the corner, so we have more room to be able to do that. So we're just gonna chain one, and we're gonna head to the next chain space from the first round that we created. We're gonna do another set of three double crochets. And since we need to turn a corner again, we're going to do two chains. And then turn your square so it's upwards. We're going to go and do a second set of three double crochets in the chain space that we just were in. My yarn's creeping on me here. And since we're just still going straight instead of turning a corner, let's finish off that crochet and then we chain one. And now we're headed for the next corner. So we're going to double crochet three times into that corner space. One, two, and three. Since we're rounding a corner, we're going to chain two and then get our stitches, our, our square, so the working side is facing up. And we're going to chain or I'm sorry, we're going to double crochet three more into that corner space. One, two, and three. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to create our last cluster of three double crochets in the first corner that we started in. So we double crochet, there's one, two, and three. And then since we're creating a corner space here, we're going to chain two and we're going to join to the third chain on the first chain up, which is what we did the double, we considered it a double crochet, but it's really three chains. We're going to join with a slip stitch into that. And now we've got, you see our square is developing. And we can keep going. So we're going to just do three chains, and that counts as our first double crochet for this corner. We go into the corner with one, two more. So we've got a set of three double crochets in the corner here. We chain one. Since we're still just going straight across, we're only chaining one in between. We only chain two when we're rounding corners. So we're going to go into this next chain space here with three double crochets. One, two, three. We chain one. We're headed for this corner. So we do three double crochets in this corner. One, two, three. Since we're rounding a corner now, we're going to chain two and then turn our work. And then we're gonna go back into this corner space with three double crochets. One, two, and three. And we're just gonna keep continuing around. So we chain one. Here's our next chain space from the, row, the round before. We're going to do three double crochets in that. Chain one, we're headed for this corner. So we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. And now that we're turning a corner, we're going to chain two and situate our work so the working side is on top. We go back into this corner to complete it with three double crochets. One two, and three. And you guessed it, we chain one, go into the next space here with three double crochets. One, two, three. 
chain one because we're still going across here. We're in the corner now, so we're going to crochet three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two to round that corner. Get our, our work situated. And then we're going to go back in the corner with another set of three double crochets. Are you getting the trend now? It's so easy. You could make an entire blanket if you wanted to by just going around and around and around and around and around. Make it as big or as small as you want to. Um, so we're gonna work in this next one with three double crochets after we did a um, chain. Chain one. Here we're in our last corner, the first one that we started in. So we do three double crochets. We chain two and we join to the first double crochet that we had created originally, which is technically three chain spaces. There we go. So we have one, two, three rounds and we can just keep going. Let's do a fourth one together. So we're going to draw up three chains. We're going back in the corner space to create our first cluster of three. One, two, three, chain one. Go in here with three double crochets. One, two, three. We're going to chain one. At three double crochets in the next chain space. One, two, And three, chain one, and then we're going in the corner again. So we just double crochet into the corner. And since we're rounding the corner this time, there's one, two, and three double crochets. We are going to chain two to create a corner space, turn our work, and then go back into that same corner space that we just created a cluster in and add three more double crochets and we're just growing so every time that you add another round you're adding another chain space in the middle of each side so you're just growing exponentially so we're going to chain one double crochet three chain one double crochet three, and so on and so forth. Chain one, double crochet three, we're at the corner. So we're going to do two chains this time because we're rounding a corner, get our work situated, and then we go back in the same corner space for three more. One, two, and three. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, we're headed for the corner. We're going to double crochet three, one, two, three. Since we're turning a corner, we're going to chain two. We're going to go back into that same corner space with three more double crochets, one, two, and three. And then we just have this one last edge to finish. So we Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three, chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. One, two, and three. Chain one, and then we're headed for the very last corner where we double crochet three, one, 
two, three, we chain two, and then we join to the first double crochet that we created. And I'm going to tie it off, grab my scissors, and again, this is a four round. Here's one, two, three, and four rounds. But you can continue going my granny square cardigan and my um, granny square hat that I have coming out. I'll have five rounds. But honestly, you can add or subtract as many as you want to keep going. You can join all the granny squares together. I have a video that shows you how to join as you go if you're interested in that. I'll link it in the info. And it's so easy, it's so fun, and so relaxing, and it becomes just very mindless to create granny squares. It's one of my favorite ways to crochet, just to keep my hands busy. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, like always, please ask, and I will see you next time.